Welcome back to the Crazy Food Crew. Today, just me and Wild Man in the studio. We're going to try out some new products. Today, we got an exciting one. Now, if everyone, and I'm guessing almost everyone, knows about Pringles, or has had Pringles, and usually they're in the can. Yeah. That's what their trademark is. But, after 15 years, Pringles is ditching the can and going to a bag. Believe it or not. And they are naming this Pringles Mingles. Pringle Mingles. And they're puff snacks, believe it or not. They're light, airy, crispy, and they're supposed to be duo flavored, all of them. Okay. So, like, I got cheddar and sour cream, and Les has got the sharp. Dark white cheddar and ranch. Interesting. Yeah, not bad. Sour heard. cream and cheddar is a pretty, you know, OG flavor. But sharp white cheddar and uh, ranch is a bit interesting. So, uh, these just came out this October. So, these are brand new. Yeah, I thought I heard that they had four different types. but Yeah, they do. I think they have a pickle one or something. And I think the other one's some kind of barbecue. Yeah. So, today we're just going to be trying uh, these two. They're brand new. We wanted to try them and get them as quick as possible. And apparently these are supposed to be like a Cheeto puff, so we're going to see, is Pringles good in the bag, or should they stick to the can? Alright. So let's try out, let's just try out the sour cream and cheddar. That's a pretty go-to flavor, I think. Alright. Wow. So they're... Look like I think they're in the shape of a bow tie here yeah. for the little guy. If not, you'd think they were a dog biscuit. <laughs> they're really light. They're yeah. really, they, they're just like a Cheeto puff almost. Let's try them out. They definitely got a strong flavor to them. I'll yeah. give them that. A little bit crunchy. Yeah. It's got crunch. a snap to it. I think these got more flavor than the little Pringle chips. Yeah, I do too. Pringle chips, you know, and you get it most of the time. You get them, they all, the first thing you taste is salt. That tastes flavor. Right away, I taste cheese, the cheddar, yeah, and the sour creams there. But these are really good. I could definitely just stack on these. Pringles, um, they might they might have got something here with the bag of chips. And I think people, you know, also maybe get sick of you know digging in the can and all that. Yeah. Maybe with Pringles, maybe you'll see them in bags more. Interesting. They might have to give those about an eight. I'll give them about seven. Now for the more interesting flavor here. Sharp. Sharp, white, cheddar, and ranch. Two flavor combos. This one could be real interesting. The thing about these is the texture's kind of throwing me off. I was thinking it would have been more of like a, you know, like a Cheeto puff that's like real light and just like, you don't even, you can just suck on it and it will... Right. This these have a little bit of a crunch to them. Interesting. Uh, wow. So those ones you can definitely see the ranch seasoning on there. Yeah, you can. If you can see that. A bow tie. They just look like um. Speckled. The, that ranch seasoning that you see on the Cool Ranch Doritos, all other chips. Now that one. Ooh, that's got salt. Wow, bite. That one's kind of weird. Cheddar? Are you getting away cheddar? Yeah. Mixture, almost they're battling each other, you know? So I don't know if that's super hmm. great or not, you know? To me, if I was going to I don't to know go, if these two flavors go with each other. I'm not, to me, they're like almost like a five. It's, it's like a really sharp... Kind of herby taste, I guess. Like herbs. Yeah, I'm, I'll like pop that one down to a five. I don't get white cheddar that much, and I don't get ranch either. It's just more of like herbs, herbs, and just a bunch of you know, like Mixed I get it. Just tastes like a bunch of ranch seasoning. Like uh, just not this one's not that great. I would have to give that one about a five. Yeah, that's not what it is. That one's going to win. It's got, like, more flavor or something. Edible. 
You have the sour cream. Yeah. Treasure sour cream. You can never go wrong with it. I think it's a, a staple flavor. I will say this. They got bold flavor. Right. And these. But just something with Pringles, sometimes, you know, we thought these little things, they may not have the boldest flavor they do. So right now, for now, this, these two, we'd have to say this is the lead in the pack. No, sour, cheddar and sour cream. Now, here's the real question. After trying these, do you still prefer the Pringles in the can, or do you like the bag? I like the bag. Yeah, I think, I think people will also like the bag. I'm not sure if people will completely ditch the can, but I think Pringles, you know, to... You want to try that, Nate? <laughs> See how they taste together? I'll try it out. <laughs> it tastes a bunch of cheddar. Right. It dominates. These are really cheesy. I like to try the other two out there. Just based off these, I bet they're pretty good also. For Pringles to, you know, ditch their trademark can and go to the bag, I think they did a pretty okay job. I'd have to give Pringles a thumbs up on this one. These uh, Pringles Mingles, they got great flavor. If you're looking for a Cheeto Puff, I would say give them a try. They're new. I can't say for the other two flavors, but these two flavors were... The sour cream and cheddar were good. The sharp white, mmm. Overall, these are pretty solid. Before we quit this video out, make sure to like this video, hit that sub button, hit that notification bell also. Comment down below, have you got your hands on these yet? And what you think about them? Do you like the cans or do you like the new bag puffs they got? Thanks for tuning in, guys. We'll see y'all on that next one. It's time. Yeah.